which are embedded in the in, in this fund. A very primary requirement for us for any stock to get into the portfolio is to have a certain minimum liquidity levels. So when I say the minimum liquidity levels, it means for any stock to get into the portfolio or or, uh, or into the portfolio, it should at least have a minimum average daily turnover of one million dollar. So which which in rupee terms it would come to around eight point three crores. So the reason why we have kept such a strict criteria is, so what could happen in terms of illiquid stocks or stocks with very less liquidity is during times of exuberance or, or in a very uh, high bull run, you might see this stock reacting very highly on a positive side. And the same thing could happen when, when you try to sell out and realize those, those uh, a value in a in a bear market or a downward or trending markets. So you might seem geniuses in a bull market where because of those poor liquidity, if more people try to buy those stocks, the stock price can appreciate uh, quite quickly. But the same thing happens in a downturn. So that that so so that is one primary characteristics of these illiquid stocks. So if you have a uh, underlying portfolio of reasonable liquidity, you would be able to sell out of those stocks even during stressful times at, at what we typically see uh, and very close to what, what is the traded value or the market prices which is which comes up on the exchanges. So that is one part of the story. The second important outcome of this having a liquidity filter is the current portfolio characteristics which you see at 1000 crore of AUM, that can be scaled up even if the AUM grows higher. So if so, how do I do that calculation? So for any stock to uh, with that $1 million uh, trading volume, so our estimate is generally that can be bought in or, or sold out at least within a period of 66 trading days, if, if at all those liquidity characteristics when we initiate that position is maintained uh, through the holding period. So in this case, so if we look at the liquidity profile of quantum long-term equity value fund, so even if we were to grow 10x of our current AUM, there is only one stock which breaches that criteria of, of requiring more than 66 trading days or to liquidate or, or add position, uh, liquidate that stock, which means 98% of these stocks can be replicated even at 10x of our AU. And, and that kind of indicates that the historic performance and the portfolio characteristics can be re retained at a much larger AU. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.